The process of getting the UAD Apollo to play nice with OBS is a little complicated, so I wanted to do a quick tutorial about how I set everything up. I'm David, and I'm a composer, guitarist, and audio engineer based in Los Angeles. I'm gonna show you three different things in this video. How I set up and record system sound, how to set up the IO matrix in console to ensure that everything is getting routed to OBS correctly, and finally, how to add UAD as an audio source in OBS. So let's get into it. First things first, we'll start by routing system sound to virtual channels within the console app. And the way that we do that is by going to applications and then down to utilities and to audio MIDI setup. And within audio MIDI setup, you wanna make sure that you have the UAD Thunderbolt selected and then from here you want to go to configure speakers and from configure speakers uh, you want to do the left channel as virtual one and the right channel as virtual two and i've already done this so i um you would just click apply And that part is set up. And now in the console app, you should have a channel labeled as virtual one and virtual two, which is virtual one. You can either have them linked or unlinked, but um, I have this one as virtual one and virtual two, and I named it as system sound. So you want them to be stereo linked so that the audio is going through system sound. And then next, we'll set up the IO matrix within console to make sure that everything is routed the way that it needs to be in OBS. OBS is set up to read the stereo pair of channels one and two on the console. So set these inputs to monitor left and monitor right. And so now you're using console as the mixer that is routing all of the signal and effects into the input of OBS. Uh, the faders and mute buttons will affect the sound that's going to the recording or stream. Um, so you need to make sure that it's unmuted, the, the signals that you want to go through to the recording. Now let's go into OBS and we need to add an audio source. So um, you right click in sources, and click add, audio input capture and then you rename it whatever you want it to be um, i'll name this uad and make the source visible and for device go to universal audio thunderbolt and click ok i hope this video was helpful let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and if this video was helpful, please like and subscribe for more videos. Until next time.